To me, Portal is a game franchise that got me back into gaming after I'd kind of fallen out of love with it a few years ago. It's one of those games that I look back on and I realise that if I hadn't have played it, I probably would never have got back into gaming, which is a kind of sad but also something I'm really thankful for with Portal. It's just one of those games that every minute of it I played, I enjoyed and it kind of made me realise a lot more about gaming that I'd never really that I'd never really been given the opportunity to discover prior to playing it. Of the two, Portal 2 is definitely my favourite, but both games just stick with me as quite important as part of my gaming history, really. The puzzles are so clever, the humour is done so well, and the story of the two solar campaigns is just so well thought out that you really feel part of Chell's world and want to find out more and more about what Aperture Science is and what actually happened there. And let's not get me started on the absolute bops that are at the end of both games. I have had those songs on my playlist since I first played this game about four and a half years ago. So I, I love those songs so much. It's also the first co-op game that I ever played with my partner and it holds a special place in my heart as something that helped us get into gaming and find the flow in our relationship, which is kind of crazy considering it's literally just a game. Hello, I'm Ashton from Triple Jump and today I'll be talking about what the Portal games mean to me. So before I played Portal 2, I didn't have a console, I didn't have a PC to play games on, I hadn't had the ability to play a game in a really, really long time. And my partner, who had a gaming PC at the time and is a big gamer, was trying to get his uni work done. And so I was bugging him and he put me on the PC and said, look, just play Portal, it's a really easy game, Like, just have a go at this. And I hopped into the first game and honestly, as soon as I got started, as soon as I got the portal gun, figured out the controls, I was absolutely sold. I love puzzle games. I've always loved puzzle games. They're one of the things that I say I'm really good at, but I'm actual fact really, really bad at. And it actually had me hooked from pretty much the get go. It's only a short game, the first one, so I managed to get through it in a couple of hours. I think I played it all in like one day, um, which to me seemed crazy because the games I'd played before were things that you kind of, like long form games. So things like Call of Duty that you played over the course of like, well, as long as you wanted to play it really. And then things like Saints Row and GTA obviously take a lot longer to finish the story of and then even then you can go back and continue playing it once you finish the story. But this game finished in, two hours and I was kind of confused at first I thought maybe there's more that I was missing but I think it was a good thing that it was so short because I think it made me understand that it doesn't have to be a 45 hour long game for it to be a good game also I vividly remember the moment at, in the in the uh, credits when GLaDOS starts singing to you and I turns to my partner and I almost completely lost it. We immediately played through the co-op campaign and I finished the second game's campaign pretty quickly after I played the first one and I really really enjoyed it. The game visually obviously is quite basic you know you've got the test chambers and then you've got this kind of behind the scenes working of Aperture Science but it just has such a good way of immersing you in the story and the little secrets and little bits of writing that you can find on the walls of people who'd previously been put through these tests by GLaDOS, you know, the cake is a lie, all that good fun stuff. Um, you kind of feel like there is a history in the place that you're playing in and that you want to fix it or just kill GLaDOS as many times as you can in the space of, of two games. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. 
If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Yes, as I mentioned at the time, I hadn't really played games for about three or four years due to a couple of things. And prior to that, I'd only really dived into first person shooters um, and, you know, car driving games and all the games that your dad wants to play. So you have in your house, but nothing that I'd really ever been passionate about playing. I'd also never played a PC game because we never had a PC when I was growing up and I genuinely don't think I could have asked for a better first game to play on a PC or when I was getting back into gaming. It is easy to pick up, the controls are pretty simple, it's just move around, left click orange portal, right click blue portal, you know. And it's quite an easy way of getting into PC gaming because it can be quite scary for a lot of people who only play on, not scary is not the right word, but It can be quite daunting to play on PC once you've been playing on a controller because it's not just press R2, press R1, you know, there's more, there's lots more buttons on a keyboard and sometimes all those buttons do something and I find that really overwhelming. But with Portal, it was just a couple of buttons and you could also use a controller if you wanted to, but I think I played with a mouse and keyboard the first time and it did help me sort of realise that PC gaming is kind of not that hard once you get into it. And like I mentioned earlier, it was also the first game that me and my partner played together. And since then, we've played games together a lot, despite us arguing about who was responsible for throwing the companion cube or the other person into the deadly goo. Um, We've played so many games since then. And I think straight away after playing Portal, we played the Borderlands games and just picked up as many co-op games as we could because we realised that as part of our relationship, gaming is actually really big for us and we really enjoy playing games together and I do want to go back and play the cop mode of portal with him again and also all of the extra maps that people made I didn't even realize that was a thing until quite recently playing like the the racing maps in portal or the really really hard really hard puzzles that made my brain just go brrr the whole time <laughs> Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I've mentioned it already, but the song in the credits of the first game, which along with the second song uh, from from the second game, has been on my playlist for a long time and they caught me off guard and... I don't know what it was about the fact that this game had a song at the end. I think for me it was just that I kind of realised that, okay, well, we don't have to take games so seriously. If this game has got a song which is being sung by the, the main antagonist of the game at the end about how it that she's still alive and that she kind of hates you, um, I just kind of realised that maybe gaming doesn't have to be so serious and it doesn't matter if I'm not good at the games because the games are there for me to have fun, which sounds really like obviously of course they're here for me to have fun, but it just kind of felt like really refreshing to me that this game had a song at the end. I don't know, I can't even explain it. This game has a song at the end and it made me happy and it made me want to play it again because I wanted that song to be something I could listen to all the time and yeah I was I was worried about not being good at gaming and then I realized that the games aren't designed for me to necessarily be good at them they're designed for me to have fun and this one doesn't take itself too seriously so I don't have to take it too seriously and if I get frustrated I know that this game isn't designed to get me frustrated so I can you know play something else for a bit and come back to it and still have fun playing it. Also, the songs are just so good. They're just so good, man. I could literally sing them to you right now. I won't do it though, because I don't want everyone to turn off, but they're so good. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. My favourite part of the game is probably the 
The physics and the actual gameplay itself are so easy to get your head around and make so much sense and are just done so well. There's never any moments where you feel like you've been cheated out of a puzzle solve or you've been you know you've managed to like wangle your way around it without actually solving it. everything is has designed for you to find the right outcome um obviously glados is telling you that uh you will never find the right outcome and that you are basically too stupid to do so but it is still fun knowing that you can figure it out and that none of these puzzles are designed to trip you up there's always going to be something that can help you solve it and for me at the time that was a nice feeling of feeling like I wasn't there to get kind of made fun of apart from by in-game supercomputers um I was there to sort of just play the game have fun and and solve puzzles I also think that my other favorite part of the game like franchise in general is the fact that there's a co-op mode and that this co-op mode is so fleshed out and substantial and it feels like it I don't know how to explain it was intentional that this co-op mode is good. There's other games you can play um in co-op mode. I can't remember, I think it's I wanna say it's resistance, but I might have got that wrong. Um where you pl you can do a co-op mode if you want to, but your character will never be addressed. I think they've got like your character's called Jack and the one's called John, but everyone will only ever speak to John because the game wasn't necessarily designed as a cop game. It was designed as a single player game and they just whacked another player in, which is fine. I do like, you know, I enjoyed that game when we played it anyway. But I just love the fact that they just, that the co op game mode is just so good and it's not just like solve puzzles, there's also story in the co op. It just feels so nice to feel like a game is designed for you to play with a friend. Because not, at the moment, there's really very few games that I would recommend for couples or friends to play together because it's there's not many good co-op games out there. So I, I'm glad that we have a game that is so good and has co-op. I just think that it's such a, a nice feeling to have a company realized that people like to play games together and make a conscious effort to put in a substantial co-op campaign alongside a really really good single player story campaign oh in case you got covered in that repulsion gel here's some advice the lab boys gave me do not get covered in the repulsion gel we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet but i'll tell you this it's a lively one and it does not like the human skeleton. So I have only really played Portal 2 once. Obviously I played the single player and the co-op campaign, but I, in writing this and trying to figure out what game I wanted to talk about, I realized I couldn't really remember much that happened in the first Portal game because it was so long ago and it's quite short. So I went back and I played it and I powered through it all like last Monday evening and I, Oh, I enjoyed it so much still. There was things I didn't remember. There was puzzles I still had to figure out. Obviously, I, there was a couple of things I went, oh, I know how to do this. I've done this before and just powered through the puzzles. But for a lot of it, it was it was so refreshing because it wasn't overly familiar. It, it still was difficult in some places. And I started to backtrack sometimes to make sure I was doing the right thing. I was still confused a lot as well. But I just... It's just, ah, oh, it's just such a good game and I'm really glad I went back and played it. I kind of want to go back and play Portal 2 as well now. I've got it installed on my PC, I just haven't had time to play it. But I might play the single player campaign and rope my partner into playing the co-op campaign as well because I really do want to play that one again. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. If I was to sell this game to another player, I would just tell them that if you like puzzle games and if you like games that don't take themselves too seriously, 
then I would recommend playing Portal. But also, if you are a girlfriend or boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, partnership in any way, or if you're just busy mates with one other friend, I would recommend picking up Portal and playing it together. If you've got a partner that necess- isn't necessarily into gaming very much, but you're kind of trying to get them into it, I would recommend playing Portal with them because it is a game that's so easy to pick up and it's also a game that is fun to play with someone else and you can help them through it and you can solve the puzzles together. So if you are looking for a game to play with your partner or your friends to try and help them get into gaming a little bit, I would recommend playing Portal 2 or even playing, getting them to play Portal 1 with you, helping them through it and then playing Portal 2 once they finished it. But yeah, I do recommend it. For anyone who doesn't know what games they wanna play or doesn't know how to play games, Portal is a really, really good starting place. And it's just such a fun game. And the story's so fun. And I didn't realize how much I could gush about Portal until I was recording this. And that is what Portal means to me. Play it, it's such a good game. (laughs) 